I need a few more battens for the uh, for the ceiling. I've ran out of <coughs> ran out of uh, battening wood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim down some uh, similar wood that I've got, and the trim that I end up with, I can use to go over the uh, the joints on the uh, ceiling. I'll probably just uh, mastic that on so you don't see any uh, screw holes. So that's the width of the batting that I want and this is all I've got. You'll notice it's a little bit little bit thicker. It needs to be as you can see a few mil uh, shorter. So what I'm doing I'm, I've set the and the machine is unplugged I've set my fence on the saw up to the thickness that I want and then I'm going to put through I'll cut this down into reasonable lengths first and then slide that through let me cut it down and then I'll uh, I'll show you what I mean. So, so first I need to cut this to length. Just cut that. And likewise, the other two. to make sure that these are square at the edges. Yeah. The size is probably not. So, right, final one. And then we'll put it through the, uh, we'll put each piece through the table saw and rip them down. And then you'll see, see what, I, what I mean. So I need to put this through now and uh, cut that down. So let, let's do that. I've got a nice uh, sliver there which won't be wasted like I say it will be used as the uh, to cover the joint on the actual uh, ceiling
see. I've got a width that I need and also I've got a nice bit of uh, timber which where my 6mm ceiling bits join that will just be glued onto there onto the joint so there'll be no screw holes if I ever needed to get this off I'll just prise it off I'm just going to put it on with the mastic so that's the uh, that's the idea I need to replace the engine bay cover at the moment it's OSB 18 mil I'm going to replace it with this plywood it's a birch plywood it's got a, a waterproof coating on it I managed to get three sheets of this at the right price so one side is sort of non-slip it's quite textured and the other side is as smooth as the uh, baby's bottom so obviously I'm for the uh, my purpose I'm going to have the rough side on the top I'm also going to be using these for the uh, locker seats and the gas covers gas locker covers each side so I'll probably use the uh, I'll probably use a smooth uh, side on that so it's 49 and a quarter by it's 49 and a quarter by 29 and a quarter inches so I've already cut one uh, side down I've cut the 29 and a quarter inch length now this is still four feet it was it was a the i did get the hold of these in uh, three by four foot sheets so well it's, it's a quarter of an inch over four foot actually but i need to make sure that it's uh, 40 six and a quarter so if i measure 46 and a quarter from here to here which I've done put a mark on there then if I measure that area from here to that mark and then set the rip guide on the uh, saw so that my blade is just to the left of that mark there because I've got to take into account the width of the uh, saw blade then it should take off the exact amount that I want to want to remove so if I set that at two and three quarters I'll just just under remember I can always take a little bit off I can't put it on and this stuff even though I got this these sheets at a really really good price it is still expensive so set the uh, set the guide right what we've done here is <coughs> put a bit of uh, two inch masking tape on the board because what I need to do is to mark it out for these inset handles. So what I've done, I found the centre of the board, put a line across. I've also put a line 100 millimetres or 10 centimetres from the edge on here. I've turned this handle over these are stainless steel marine stainless steel so they're not chrome plated 
they're actually uh, stainless so they're not uh, they're not cheap these are the real McCoy I've lined this up I've then put a pencil mark where the screw holes are going to go and I've also done by eye just put a line equivalent to that inset there and then the same there and then ditto because what I've what I'm eventually going to do I'm going to route out this area here on the actual ply and then once I've done that I'll make sure that it all fits and then when I've done all that I then need to route out or chisel out the edge of the uh, fitting so it fits flush which is it looks like it's two mil it might be two and a half but I'll I'll check the size of that when I get to it so what I'm doing now I'm just punching out where these screws are going to go and I'm going to put them put some screws in temporarily then I'm going to mark out where I need to route out so this drops in and I'm going to fix this in place dry fit it if I might even screw it in so I can get this uh, board on top of the uh, engine bay and then I'll remove them again and then cut out either with a router I'll probably do it with a router or the uh, or a chisel I certainly need to do the edges with a chisel because the router is only going to come it's going to leave a little bit of a uh, a little bit of wood on the edge so I need to cut that out right let's get on with this I do have an automatic uh, center punch but I've mislaid it somewhere so all I'm doing now I'm just using the manual one and then likewise this side Take my handle. What I'm doing in here, just to uh, set this off, I'm using number six screws, countersunk, half inch. So just to Set that into place. Eventually, I'll have some stainless steel countersunk bolts through here. But to start with, I'll just be putting the uh, screws in. Let's leave that one in. This will then hold it in place and then let's do the same on this one. A bit time consuming doing it this way but it's the only way only way I know. level the screws that I put in here until I put the bolts in 
once the uh, once the handles are in, will be uh, a little bit longer. Longer than this. Reason I'm doing it this way is just so I've got some location holes. So now I'll take them out <coughs> and then quickly show you how it will eventually look when it's fitted. So the the screws will be flush or the bolts will be flush with that in there this whole lot will be flush with the board and to lift the board up pull the handle up and lift it up like that <laughs> <laughs> 